good news on foreign investment coming from Telangana. Our government slogan has been innovate, incubate, incorporate. Will serve as a hub for our manufacturing expansion plan. The next Code Basics Resume project challenge is going to be big. Telangana is a state in India and the government of Telangana has open sourced all of their data and put it on a portal called Open Data Telangana. Using this data set, you are going to build a data analytics project and you will build insights that you are going to present to top government officials in Telangana government. On behalf of Code Basics Learning Community, I want to say thanks to Telangana government, especially Mr. KTR, who is the IT minister, and they have collaborated with Code Basics to offer you all this unique learning opportunity. You don't need any background. Anyone who wants to learn data analytics or data science can participate in this. Let me quickly show you step-by-step -step process of how you can participate here. In order to participate, go to codebasics.io, click on this resume project button at the top, and here you will see that particular challenge. Now here in this page, we are showing all the previous challenges too, but to participate in this particular challenge, click on enroll for free. You will have to create an account, which is free. Just log in using that account. And now once I have logged in using that free account, I will click on enroll for free, enter your detail and just say confirm. This way, now you are enrolled, you will be able to download files. You can download files from here or even, even you can go here and uh, download the files. So let me download the files here. So it is downloading now. So see here, the download status is complete. I come to my download folder here. I can extract all. All right, now these are the input files that I have. Let's look at all these files. So the first one is metadata and the metadata will tell you the information about all these files okay so you can see that you can just read through the and this i'm not going to read all of this here uh, but in the data set you will find all this csv file where you have dimension data set and fact data sets here uh, you can look at the research questions uh, which will help you build this project so from, let's say the government perspective, what they're looking for, there's a short of like a requirement document where you will see sample questions that the government official might be asking, such as provide top five insights and recommendation to Telangana government for sustained growth and so on. So these are just uh, some pointers which can help you build this particular data analytics project. Then how to notify stakeholders. So when you build this project first of all see if you go to uh, this particular page here you will see all the guidelines and everything so you are using this data set and you are building a solution using any tool it can be python sql power bi tableau etc now some people say okay i don't know power bi well big deal just just go to youtube and if you look at code basics let's say sales inside project if you just do this particular small project you will get good understanding of Power BI, okay? It's not a rocket science. You don't need any prior knowledge. Once you have learned Power BI, and let's say Python, again, you find a lot of uh, free tutorials on YouTube, then you can immediately start this project. Don't wait, don't think, okay, I have to learn and then, see, you can participate in this project. It is all free. You don't have to pay a single rupee or dollar. Therefore, just participate and while doing the project, you can learn those skills, okay? So just read through all these uh, detailed instructions. Once you have built the project, what you're going to do is create a LinkedIn post similar to this. So if I right click and open this here, uh, this is an example of a LinkedIn post. This is uh, the winner from one of our challenges, Aryan Sharma. Uh, when he participated in one of the past challenges, he created this kind of nice post and he posted a video with a presentation and he shared all the insights that he built using that project. We recommend actually video presentation. Even if you don't do video presentation, still okay. But if you do video presentation, you are going to get some extra marks. So just look at Aryan Sarma's uh, LinkedIn post. You will get an idea. And by the way, the data set that we took is from Open Data Government Portal. This is the portal. You can explore more data sets here. And we have one MP4 file. So if you open that MP4 file, it will allow you to download the map of Telangana government. It will show you how you can build the map 
visual in Power BI using that map. And here you're going to build uh, different insights on top of the map. So make sure you're watching this particular MP4 file. And this Telangana district map is in terms of JSON file, which is also given here. And data set obviously has all the data. This is not a rocket science, folks. Uh, once again, you don't need to have any prior knowledge. If you want to become data analyst or a data scientist, this is an excellent learning opportunity for you. Because the benefits you're going to get as a data analyst aspirant are tremendous. There are so many benefits. Let me list down the top three for you. Number one, when you do a successful submission, you're going to get an appreciation certificate from Codebase 6 and Open Data Telangana. Number two, if you come in the top five, you're going to get a letter of recognition from the government itself. And number three, if they really like your work, there is a good possibility you will get an internship opportunity with them. Now just take a pause and think about all these things, right? You get to work with real data set, practice them, add it to your resume and present it to the real stakeholders. All of that, the amount of time that you're going to share your work online, share your certificates online, this is massively going to boost your online credibility. And this is the reason why I'm so glad that you're getting such an exposure. And I'm really thankful to the Telangana government for being so progressive. I've never seen some, you know, <laughs> a government body being so progressive, coming down like this and, you know, supporting the aspirants, supporting the learners purely with an intention of growth. That's amazing. By participating in this challenge, you are not only learning technical skills, but you are learning soft skills, such as how to write nice LinkedIn post, how to create a, an appealing presentation, how to present your insights to your stakeholders. So your verbal English communication, your data storytelling skills, presentation skills, they all will improve. And by the way, Aryan Sharma was one of the winners of previous challenges. He got a job based on this challenge, okay? So you can potentially get a job in data industry by participating in this. And the beautiful thing is there is no money involved here. You all can participate, no background needed. It is totally free. So what are you waiting for? Go take up the challenge. We can't wait, wait to, to evaluate your challenge submissions. You know, I think you all should use this opportunity and uh, get started with the challenge.